With everything that is going on around the world today, most of us don't expect silver's price to explode, even though most of us think it should be much higher than where it is now. There's no question that silver is undervalued. So with that being said, what kind of environment would cause silver's price to just skyrocket? We're going to talk about it and so much more as we explore. Many of us feel jaded. We feel like uh, that uh, with everything that's going on, that silver's price should be much higher, not only in terms of silver demand, there's many more uses for silver than ever before, so much in technology, and including in the war machines that we see uh, really being fired up these days around the world. And we know that with the green energy that should be recession proof, why in the world is silver not higher than what it is now? Well, we're gonna talk about some of the things that are keeping silver down right now, because most people have just resigned to the fact that uh, if silver's prices aren't going to explode and they blame it on price suppression as opposed to uh, generally price manipulation, which we know is there. So we're gonna see what exactly is behind this and what kind of unexpected things that could come up that could see silver's price explode. If you enjoy videos like this where we talk about the markets and what the movers of the price of some precious metals are, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel. I do post daily videos, and I hope you will consider pressing that like button as well. Thumbing up this video will help it get reached out to more folks out there. So what is going on? Silver's price seems to be relatively stagnant, even though we have seen it a move fairly dramatically over the past year or two, really for the past three years. In fact, we saw it double in price after it got smacked down in March of 2020, only to rise back up uh, over double than what it was to over $24 an ounce. In fact, we did see it get very, very close to $29 an ounce in the past three years, but that was only for a brief amount of time. Many of us feel that silver should be at least $30, if not more so now. There's a lot of drivers uh, that uh, can push and pull on silver's price. And we have to remember that silver is a metal that serves dual roles as a monetary metal, as a commodity money, as a, somewhat of a commodity in that aspect, but also as an industrial metal. It is utilized in science and technology in healthcare and in industry. And we see it all over the place in electronic devices including electronic devices used for war. And that is one of the areas, it's a two-pronged approach here, that I think could send silver's price skyrocketing, especially if we see war continue and amp up. We are seeing the biggest war in Eastern Europe right now between Ukraine and Russia. And right now there's going to be probably a war that's gonna be lasting for at least uh, the next uh, three months, maybe six months, maybe even longer in Gaza. And they will utilize uh, certainly defense, offensive weapons, weapon systems, you know, missile systems that use silver in them. That's the thing. How much silver is used for weaponry? Uh, I don't really know. I did a video a uh, number of years ago that theorized that it could be as much as 500 ounces of silver for each Tomahawk cruise missile. Is that true? I don't know. Check that video out if you get a chance. But also, we have to look about what kind of uh, silver would be utilized for the weaponry of today as opposed to the weaponry of even 10 years ago. Silver is integral in a lot of the ad advancements in technology, and that includes weapons and rocketry. Now, we're not using silver bullets because we're not fighting werewolves, but we know that silver is integral uh, for all aspects of anything that has electronics in it, whether it be used for war or for peace, peaceful purposes. And that is only going to grow. And the demand for silver will increase because the demand for those things will grow. Some of those things are recession-proof, others are not. Uh, but nonetheless, there's that push and pull uh, that uh, drives silver's price. And a lot of times when we have things like war, uh, war in itself is an economic depressant. 
That's right. Economic activity can stifle, can stifle and supply chains can be disrupted, as we've seen with wheat and grain and other things um, in, in, uh, over there in Ukraine, but also nations that are fighting and supporting um, Hamas. Um, they, many of them are oil producing nations and uh, some of these oil producing nations, well, they supply OPEC and uh, that can have an, an impact on energy prices and therefore um, maybe cuts and in and, and, and energy and oil and the like, and that could have a, an impact on uh, the economy and that could send silver's prices down or up depending on how you look at it. You know, it, that's just it. If the economy falls, and, uh, and is stifled by the things I just talked about, will people wake up and realize that we have not only those things that are disrupting supply chains, but we also have things that are occurring right now that are causing the dollar to deflate in value. That's called inflation. A deflation in value of the dollar is called inflation. And there's only one root cause of that, and that is the Federal Reserve printing too many of these uh, in order to pay for things like war and the like. And uh, you would think that sooner or later that's going to catch up with silver um, and uh, the cost to mine it, to produce it, <clears throat> is going to go up and that's going to stifle and essentially snowball into higher silver prices in the market. But it doesn't because of the, deriv of, because of the derivatives market, which is probably one of the biggest suppressants of silver's price outside of the Federal Reserve that I can think of. Um, and so therefore, what is it going to cost uh, silver's price to skyrocket? Well, military uses um, and profound a great deal of amount of military use and maybe even the Defense Department starting a new strategic stockpile of silver, much as uh, we had before back in World War II. And uh, really that stockpile has been pretty much depleted by now. Although, is it being garnered on in secret or outside of the system of an official stockpile? Many people theorize so. In fact, that could be the case because of Silver Eagle production the last couple of years. We've supplied a lot of weaponry, but also a lot of money to Ukraine. And some of that could be manufacturing for uh, goods and services for use in the battlefield, um, in turn, including weaponry, missile systems. And the Iron Dome in Israel needs to be um, also uh, replenished. And those missile systems will require silver, more than likely, a lot of those. I don't know how much, but there's a lot of them. And of course, the amount of silver used in defense or in military systems is probably very little compared to the commercial side. But still, nonetheless, uh, there's other factors that are going to cross both brands, both the uh, military, industrial complex, and the commercial side. And that is artificial intelligence. And most people really won't see that coming, how quickly that is becoming a thing. Really, it wasn't until this year and late last year when we heard about ChatGPT. The artificial intelligence boom could support the demand for precious metals in general and silver in particular. According to a piece here from Reuters that's reporting from a metals focus report here. Uh, ChatGPT has made uh, generative AI a buzzword this year, fueling a boom in demand for chips powered by the technology and boosting stocks and manufacturers such as NVIDIA, etc. Since most components used in conjunction with AI devices are sophisticated, we expect to see widespread support uh, for a range of precious metals bearing components. And you know, silver is going to take center stage in that kind of thing to see that uh, will increase fairly dramatically. Expected upside from several applications that are gradually maturing should help support the recovery and in industrial offtake uh, into 2024. To cope with the evolution of AI algorithms, shipping growth to AI servers and switches will rise by double digits over the next few years and stimulate precious metal demand, uh, according to Metals Focus. And that is pretty remarkable to see because... Not only do you have artificial intelligence, but the machinery to back it up with quantum computing. And that very well could send demand for silver up. And really, there'll be no stopping the price from, from going up. I don't think any suppressive element would, would be able to stop it as well, too. Although many say that it's there and it's, and it's occurring. But uh, again, uh, what is the way to suppress it? Well, there's two things, as I've talked about. 
the derivatives market, and the Federal Reserve. I think those are the most powerful forces that are manipulating the, the markets um, in, and by purpose and out in the open. But nonetheless, what would it take? I think it's going to take the AI and really an exponential growth in it and the machinery behind it, the server farms and the like, that are going to cause it to go up. We'll see here. It's pretty, pretty amazing to see how fast the technology is growing and how quickly where it is now. Quantitative computing. Now, things like Moore's Law and being able to, to do more with less and finding alternatives for silver um, are very much in their infantile stages. In fact, graphene was one element that was a, a one manufactured uh, device that was uh, uh, lauded as being able to replace silver. We're not, nowhere near there yet. In fact, this technology will advance at a much faster pace than any replacement for silver can ever dream of. And so that is something that could cause the prices of silver to skyrocket and explode. Will they happen? Will it happen? I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, but I'm just saying that that could be one component that n many people may not see coming uh, that could send the, uh, silver's prices going up again. Uh, dramatically, by the way. Uh, we'll see what happens. But that's just speculation. That's just looking at what is going on. The thing is, when you're talking silver, folks... Not only do you need to talk about what's, what drives it economically, but also technologically as well, too. Demand for it. And so it's fascinating to see what all is involved and how, how valuable silver is in a variety of different applications and uses. For those of us who stack it, we hold it, not necessarily in hopes to get rich, but in order to protect ourselves from uh, the economic instability that is to come and is here partly right now. So we'll see where it goes Nonetheless, I hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.